Okay, cool. So let's get started. Um, what I'm gonna do is take us through a warm up and just get our bodies moving, get the blood pumping um, before we started with the specifics. Yeah. So plant your feet wide underneath the shoulders, root down into the floor. Firm the core in and up. So we're going long through spine and sides of the waist. Roll the shoulders up, back, and down. Okay, good. So we're gonna start with head side to side, ear to shoulder, side and side, side and side. And as you're moving through this, draw the shoulders down the back and really pull the ear away. Here's two more. Last one. Cool. Now we'll do semicircles. Ear, chin, ear, and back around. Nice and easy. Slow rhythm, very strong core. Don't let your shoulders move. And allow this to open up through sides of the neck, back of the neck. Think of drawing a semicircle with the chin. Beautiful. This will be all our last one here. Okay. And then we'll take these full circles around very slowly. Start by chin to chest, ear to shoulder, and take it around nice and easy, rolling through. Keep the shoulders down and the chest lifted, rolling through. Strong core down through the legs and we'll reverse those circles. Take the head back and move it through center. Be easy with your body. If something hurts, don't do it. Beautiful. This will be our last one. And we'll roll that up. Cool. Face here. All right. We'll take the arms Pressing down with a flexed palm here. Side, rise. Press the palms forward like you're trying to uh, swipe the inside of a window. Press straight down, sweep it up, drawing the shoulders down the back and all the way forward. They're trying to reach something in front of you. Press, lift. Strong legs as you press forward. And down, rise away from you. We have two more here. One more. Press, rise, and sweep it forward. Very good. From here, from the center of the body, rotating the torso forward and reach, pull it back from the shoulder blade and allow it to develop back. Forward, palm down, back, palm up. Forward, palm down, back, Palm up, core is engaged, shoulder head is down in the joint, it's not coming up with you. We have two more here. Beautiful. And we'll do the other side, moving from the center of the body, chest, elbow fingers, shoulder blade, elbow fingers, developing the energy from the core out. Flipping the palm forward and up. Send it forward. Keep the shoulder down. Beautiful. We have two more here. Tight core, strong spine. Okay, beautiful. From here, arm circles. Circle. Keep the other arm connected to your body. Reach. Like you're trying to reach something just outside of your range. And reverse the circle. Allow this movement to be initiated in the core of the body. Solar plexus, shoulder blades, lats, all that goodness. One more. Beautiful. Release it. Other side. Roll it forward, back, and down. Keep everything else stable. The chest is lifted. The legs are strong. You're not moving with your arm this time. This is isolating the shoulder joint. Reverse that circle. Beautiful. Really go to the edge of your range of motion here. Cool. We got one more. Nice. 
Take the arm across the chest, press it back, draw the shoulders down. We're going to rotate from the rib cage here, side to side, as we keep the shoulder blade drawing down the back. Continue to press that forearm in towards you. Beautiful, this is the last one. I'm going to take this hand, reach it behind me, hook fingertips to forearm, and pull it back. Back this way, shoulders down, three, two, one, beautiful, extend the opposite arm, only go as far as you can, take the forearm in toward you, press the palm down, lift up through the core, opening through the outside edge of that shoulder there, beautiful, now we're going to rotate from the center of the body. Rotating the rib cage, gentle movements. Keep pressing that forearm in towards you, shoulders down, steady through the legs. Cool, this will be the last one. Great, gently release, press it all the way back, hook fingertips around the forearm or the wrist, and pull down and back. Down and back. Strong core. I got three, two, one. Beautiful, quick side stretch here, reaching up, transferring the weight up and over. So we rise before we arc. Scoop this hand, press the palm behind you, and take the back of the hand, pressed into the upper back. Shoulders down, stretching through the sides here, reaching away. Flip the palm, press down, flip the palm, sweep up. Flip the palm, press down, flip and sweep. Belly button to spine to support the arc. Cool, bring it back to your side stretch, explore a little further, and we release. Other side, raise the arm, shoulder down, transfer the weight. We lift, and then we side bend. Press the palm back, back of the hand, pressing into the rib cage. Chest up. Reaching away, reaching away. Okay, flip the palm facing away from you. Press it all the way down, flip the palm, and sweep it up. So, movement is still initiated from the back and the center of the body. The quality is like you're moving through water, so don't just release it down. Press with a little bit of isometric resistance here. Beautiful. This will be the last one. Perhaps a little deeper into that bend there. And we release. Cool. Okay. Warm by now. Let's uh, talk first about rotation and frame as dancers, and then how do we stretch that? So we have what's called internal and external, or medial and lateral rotation. Different words for the same thing. So we're going to be working with both of those. Keep in mind, as a dancer, your appendages your extremities, your arms and your legs start in your core. They start in your torso and your spine. They are an extension of your spine, including your legs, but today we're working with arms. So you set up your posture first, yeah? You're rooting down through the balls, balls of the feet here, and the heels, so we're evenly distributed. We're pulling up on the quads. And more importantly here, firming in. So if my belly button's here, I'm firming in a few inches below it to lift up through my spine. Okay, so we have a nice, what's called stacked posture, ear over shoulder, over hip, over ankle. The shoulders are pressed down the back. Two actions here. Depress the shoulder blades, but instead of squeezing them back and saying you're standing up straight, shoulder blades come down and they wrap around the torso, they wrap around the rib cage here, yeah? So we use the serratus anterior to create that 
widening effect through the shoulder blades. And in this way, we're not arching, yeah? We're closing right here, knitting the ribs together. So we have this nice elongation through the body, opening through the chest, and the arms are an extension of that alignment and of that core strength. Here, do we have a question? Okay, beautiful. So, as we move through this, when we set up our frame, yeah, we're mostly working with internal rotation. So we'll get there, but we'll first start with external. So drop the shoulders and wrap them nicely around the rib cage here. Think of the arm as one piece, from shoulder joint all the way down to the fingertips and rotate it from the shoulder joint, which is a ball and socket joint. Yeah, so it has a lot of circular range. Simply rotate it out, eye of the elbow, palm of the hand. We're gonna do that a couple times with a lot of isometric control in the body. Okay, you should feel your shoulder blades in your core here. So begin with your palms out, and you're gonna slowly rotate the entire arm in until you can go as far as you can. And you know the range because your shoulders are gonna to wanna to come up at the end of it. So right before they do, that's your range of motion. Rotate open through the entire arm and press in and back. Forward and out, in and back. Feel this movement initiated in the shoulder blades, anchored in the core. posture in your frame. Draw the shoulder down the back and reach fingertips for floor. Rotate that arm out away from you. This is lateral external rotation. We're going to start by pressing up, right? And always in the body, as you can see, we have action and reaction, action counterbalance. So as my arm begins to ascend, my shoulder draws down to counterbalance and keep it locked in the joint. I'm reaching away like there's something just outside of my reach. Good. And then I'll release back down and release with control. Pull it down and allow that energy to emanate out through the arm as we lift and lower. Let's do two more here. Lift and lower. Don't lose the contraction as you lower. Lift and lower. Good. Now we'll add a little range of motion here. Lift until we are parallel or just beneath the shoulder. Take this and press it back, like you're trying to serve a tray to somebody behind you. But as you do so, your chest is continuing to stay reaching forward so that you don't go with it. Come back to center. Back and center. Keep the eye of the elbow straight up keep everything anchored in the core. Back and center. Back. I should still be able to see my arm in the periphery as I come through center here. And now it disappears from my vision. Good. We have two more. One. And two. Now leave it all the way back there. This time, actively reach back with the fingers and forward with the chest as the shoulder is down. So move only as far as you can without the shoulder coming up. The other hand can rest on the body, on the rib cage behind you, wherever is good. Good, continue to reach the shoulder blade down, fingers away. Okay, from this position, if you'd like a little extra, you can rotate the head and take the nose to the shoulder as the shoulder blade draws down. So it adds a little extra stretch element if you would like that today. And keep reaching, we have three, two, one. Release the head, release the arm. Shake it out for a second. Okay, we'll come back, same arm, external rotation. This time we'll press all the way up parallel to the ear. Keep the external rotation, yeah? So in order to do this, we're rotating the eye of the elbow toward me, the, the palm of my hand toward the wall behind me, shoulder down, and release forward like you're pressing against something. 
So we press up as the shoulder depresses. Keep that rotation and release forward. Lift and forward, continuing to have that widening in the upper back and a lift through the chest. Reach and forward. Reach, forward. One more. Lift and forward. Beautiful. Shake it out for a moment. Okay. So this time, same action, external rotation, depress through the shoulder blade. Lift until we're parallel to the collarbone or just just a little bit beneath it. We're gonna sweep it forward with control, only as far as you can go on its own without the shoulder head coming up. This is cheating. So keep the shoulder down and as far as you can go, that's the end of your range there. From that position, lock the shoulders down, use the top of the forearm here to assist gently further into the stretch. Keep the external, or lateral rotation of the joint. Chest is lifted. Legs are strong. You're welcome to breathe into your stretches as well. The inhale creates a lift and expansion. The exhale, if you want to, a little deeper into the stretch, a little extra stability. Shoulders down. Beautiful. And then we'll move through this stretch. So as I release this, I don't let everything go. I release my hand slowly so that my arm can take over, and then I open. Reach all the way back. Come through center, find your range, and then assist. Three, two, one. Release with control. Take it out, back behind you. Come through center, moving from the back of the core. Find your range. Assist it. And three, two, one. One, open, serve the bladder behind you. Keep your shoulder all the way down. Find your range. Maybe a little deeper this time. Three, two, one, release, reach behind you. This will be the last one. Three, two, one, good, let it go. Okay, let's do the other side. Very similar exercise. Shoulders down, stacked posture, strong legs, strong core. Reach fingertips for floor, rotate from the head of the shoulder here. Eye of the elbow and palm facing out away from you. External rotation. Press down through that shoulder blade. Other arm can rest on the body. Switch over here. So first we begin by sweeping up. And in order to go up, I have to go down first. Go down first, then we rise just parallel, and as we reach back down, it's like I'm pushing against a light resistance. So keep that contraction in your body, control the movement, be very much aware of every part of your body, what's moving and what isn't. Good, keep your spine straight, long through sides of the waist as you reach the fingers out away from you. Again, rising up to parallel or just beneath the shoulder line. And like you're serving a tray behind you, reach the hand back. Only as far as you can go without the shoulder releasing. And come back through center so you can see your hand in the periphery of your eye. Reach it back. And reach it forward. Think about it being anchored here in the body as you come forward. Think about your shoulder blade, not your shoulder head, your shoulder blade pulling back, reaching back away from you. Keep that length as you come forward. Good. And forward. Beautiful. Good. We have one more here. Okay. Release down with control. Shake it out for a minute. Back to our reaching down, external lateral rotation. And we'll start by 
from the shoulder joint toward the wall behind you and sweep forward like there's something that you just can't reach keep the shoulder locked reach up rotate and down and the key here is keeping those shoulders pulling down reach up rotation and sweep forward you have to go down first to come up and as I'm reaching forward I'm also counterbalancing by reaching my chest back firming it back in so every part of my body has an action and a reaction Water and allow maybe to 
go a little further each time. Consider that you can reach an inch further each revolution. Make some progress. Create some fluidity through that joint. And as you come to the base of the circle, reverse it and reach and keep that external rotation. Be very specific about how the arm is moving in the shoulder joint right now. If this is good, opposite hand presses into back of the elbow. As we do this, we don't let that happen with the rib cage. So keep it anchored. Action, counterbalance. Yeah? Otherwise, a couple options here. If you have a strap or a towel, external rotation, take the strap with you, drop it, take hold of it gently. Gently pull. Yeah. And if you're a yogi, then you move the fingers around each other and provide that feedback for yourself. Shoulders are down, chest is lifted, strong spine, strong core. Beautiful. So keep that elbow reaching back as the shoulder head is locked into the joint. And again, if you'd like, turn the nose away and rotate it down toward the shoulder. For me, this provides a lot of relief for the upper traps. Good, and as you breathe, use the breath to create a dynamic stretch. The inhale creates elongation and expansion, and the exhale creates further into the stretch as well as stability through the core. So allow the breath moving through the body to help you not be so static, but within your own body, creating opening and flexibility. Let's see if you can reach a little more. We have three, two, one. So whatever grip you have, release it and allow the head to come to center. From this rotation here and contact with the back, we're going to rotate from the shoulder joint. So keep your fingertips connected to the back of the shoulder blade here. And we'll rotate the elbow down, forward and up. Open it, sweep it through center, forward and up. Move slowly here. So for all of these stretches, it's really not about speed. It doesn't matter how fast you can do it. It's way more effective for you to move slowly and really ooze into the range of motion that you're working with. Beautiful. Draw a circle with the elbow. We have two more. And two. Beautiful. Extend the arm. Reach it forward. Take it across. And once again, we'll draw that. And since we've done this a few times now and we're warm, you're welcome to rotate and drop as the shoulder pulls down. Okay, release the head first, come back to center, release the arm slowly, take it out to the side. This hand will rest behind you, and this time we'll rotate and take the nose to the ear, drawing the shoulder down, fingertips reach away, and from this position we'll rotate just the neck. So we're rotating up and then looking back down at the shoulder. Up and back down at the shoulder. Nice smooth controlled movements. Beautiful. This time leave the nose down. Start with posture, stacked, 
widen shoulder blades as they draw down the back. External lateral rotation from the shoulder joint. We're going to start with those arm circles. You're welcome to take pads of the fingers, top of the traps here as you move. You can also create your own neck stretch. Make sure you feel it. Draw away action counterbalance. And we'll begin with those circles. Externally rotate. Pay attention to how the arm is located within the joint. Reach the fingertips away like there's something that's just barely out of your reach. Mindful movements here. Be strong through the legs and long through sides of the waist as you anchor the arm into the body. And at the base of the circle here, reverse. Take it back and forward. Continuing to play with the range of motion. Maybe find another inch of space every time you complete a revolution. Walk your hands closer together if that 
feels good or keep them wider. Um, if your elbows do what mine do, just keep a nice micro bend in them so you're not putting strain on the joint there. Keep the chest lifted. First we pull down from the shoulder blades and then we reach back. Only as high as you can and that might be right here and that's okay. But we don't want to do this or this. So keep the integrity of the structure of your spine and your core and reach down and away. If you would like a little extra here, if you keep your feet wide, fold forward with slightly bent knees, keep the core engaged, and take this up and over. So if you'd like a little help from gravity here, a little more upper back opening, that's cool. Make sure your shoulders are still drawing up the back. And in a forward fold, your weight is more toward the balls of the feet than the heels. Keep pulling. Breathe into the opening. Allow gravity to assist if you are folding forward. Through the arm, if not, that's okay. So you 
want the strength within the flexibility where the body feels safe, it's way more inclined to allow flexibility. If you're trying to force it into flexibility without the physical strength to hold it there, your body will seize up and that's where we get tension, pulled muscles, knots, all sorts of stuff. So create strength within the flexibility and your body will open up more readily. Cool, release this, shake it out. Posture, medial rotation, elbow, extension, and this time we're rising up. Now, again, only as far as you can go without the shoulder coming with you, and that might be here. That's okay. Just know where your body's at and work with it. Beautiful. Once you reach wherever you're at, you'll come forward and back down to the side, keeping this steady. Go down to go up. rotation and reach it forward, anchored in the core. Go down to go up, extend, sweep, forward, and back down. Elbow, extension, rise, and forward. Again, this is my self-check because I tend to want to do this, so I keep my rib cage closed. Rise, extend, 
initiated in the shoulder blade and anchored in the core. Shoulder blade, anchored in the core. And don't allow your body to go with you. Keep it steady. Press it back and forward. Keep that rotation. See if you can continue to play with the range here. And then we'll leave this reaching back. This time the chest can reach forward as long as the shoulder doesn't come up with you. Fingers reach away. Chest moves forward. Beautiful. Three, two, one. Let go. Okay. Set up your posture. Medial rotation of the shoulder joint. Shoulder drops. Elbow rises. Extend. We'll come through center. Only as far as you can without the shoulder head coming up. Full extension of the arm. Assist. Keep the arms straight. Chest broad and open. Breathe into the stretch. Reaching through the fingertips. Making sure this is medial rotation here. Stacked posture. Strong legs. This for three, two, one. As you release, slowly until you can isometrically hold it. Press it away from you. Keep that medial rotation. Come through center. Find the range. Assisted. Three, two, one. Release with control. Press it away. Bring it through center. Chest lifted and controlled. 
contracted at the rib cage. But if you'd like a little extra, keep the feet wide. Nice, soft bend in the knees. Core is engaged. Pull forward and rise. As you do this, don't release the shoulders. Keep them pulling down. So the same actions we've already created continue. Keep the medial rotation, allowing gravity to assist you if you are forward folded. Use the strength of the legs to 
Press yourself up slowly. Okay. Thank you guys. Good art workout. If you have questions, let me know, please. Direct message, leave a comment. I'm happy to help. Thank you for participating.